Today we're headed out on Deer Lake to take some measurements for the program. We're headed to the Deep Basin. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the MyCorps program. MyCorps is the state of Michigan's uh, volunteer monitoring network. MyCorps partners in the program are the Great Lakes Commission, the Huron River Watershed Council, the uh, Michigan State University, and the Michigan Lake and Stream Associations. I'm doing a phosphorus test and I actually will be taking two samples. This is what we call our late summer. It it's really goes right into the fall time. And phosphorus is, remember, the element that we can measure the algae growth. And it really gives us an indication with the secchi disc readings in chlorophyll what stage of eutrophication your lake is in. I, I have to rinse it twice. with the lake water. And then I'm going to do kind of a spider grip, just like a spider grabbing the bottle. I'm gonna go down 12 inches, and I'm gonna take it on its side, and I'm gonna slowly take it across until I have no more bubbles, if you can see the bubbles. And when the bubbles stop, I bring it up to the surface. I'm going to pour out some of it just because I'm going to take it home and I'm going to freeze it so that we can then turn it in to the DEQ on our assigned lake turn-in date. Put it in my cooler and take a second sample which I've labeled replicate. My great oarsman here provided the cooler and actually our lake is not that big, but some lakes are, you know, miles, so that it is important to keep the sample cool. That's our replicate sample and it's marked as such. Put it in the cooler and I'll go back to my house, stick it in the freezer, take my paperwork where I've marked the date, the beautiful weather day. On the back, I've drawn an outline of our lake, an approximate area of where we have taken the sample, and then I'll drop it off, or one of our other volunteers will drop it off to the DEQ office, and they always give you a turn-in date for your particular lake. All right, we're going to do the sucky dust monitoring for the uh, chlorophyll testing. We're going to drop the sucky dust into the lake, and we're on the shadow side of the boat so that we can get a, a better reading. Uh, we're not wearing any sunglasses, so we can uh, not be influenced by any type of reading. We're going to just keep watching the disc until it disappears, and we're going to take a reading, and then we're going to bring it back up until we can see it again. And we're still looking at it. You can see it's still in view. And we're starting to go out of view. and still see the reading. We've got a nice sunny day, so we're getting a really good depth. Still see it. Still see it down there. And it kind of disappeared. Okay, we're, we're bringing it up now until we see the meeting, and if you, uh, now I see the target reading, and if you're looking at the scale on the on the tape, it's 16 feet 6 inches. We record that, and now we'll take the average of it going down and then the average coming back up. So we establish that, that's one point. The average? If you're going down, the average was 17 feet 6 inches. Six inches. So we're going to go 32 feet, we're going to go 33 feet for our chlorophyll composite sample depth, right? No. Is it 17 feet, 3 inches? 36, 36. 35 feet. 35 feet. Sorry. Okay. Okay, Ken, here's the container. Okay, thanks. Up. Gotta make sure I put this on first before I put this on. Okay, you got me marked at 35 feet. So we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. You all said you got everything yep. lined up. Okay, you're gonna and let me get let you get the free fall going. Okay, throw it all in the water. We're bringing it up through the water, different layers of water, based on our secchi disc. Now we check to make sure we have at least three quarters filled. And we do. Okay, Fred. All right, let me get the other bottles. Get the bottles.
Okay, well you got the drops, Fred? Yep, I'll get the drops. Okay. Okay, give me five drops on each. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Shake it up. That one's shaking up. Could you put those in the cooler? Yep, sure will do. Thank you, sir. Now let's get to dissolve oxygen. Ken, I got the uh, calibration done here. We're all set. It's been here 20 minutes now. Okay. Take the uh, probe out. Here's the meter for you. Thanks, sir. Give me one foot, Fred. One foot? Okay, I'm going to lower it down one foot. And I'm just going to jiggle it as we get the reading. So I'll just constantly jiggle it here. Okay, I'm getting 13.6 on temperature Celsius and 11.3.7 oxygen. 113. Right? Oops. Note our volunteer was recording lake dissolved oxygen in percent saturation units. Instead, we need to record lake dissolved oxygen measurements in milligrams per liter units. So, remember to switch between these units of measurements after calibration. On the YSI 550A meter, you simply press the mode button and the units will change. The YSI 95D is the same. Simply press the mode button and the units will change between percent saturation and milligrams per liter. We do make mistakes, but do clarify them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, five feet. Five feet, okay, lower it down. Okay, I'll just keep jiggling it here. Keep jiggling. Okay, I'm in the jiggle zone. Okay, it's jumping around quite a bit. It's Okay, I'm going to book 12.1. We gained a little oxygen and we're at 13.5 temperature. We came down just a little bit. Give me 10 feet. 10 feet, you got it. Right, keep keep ten, jiggling ten, it. 10 feet level. Okay, moving it around. Okay. We stayed pretty close, same temperature. We're down to a little one. And we're at 11.9. Point six. Give me 45 feet. 45 feet, got it. Okay, we're at 45 feet. Jiggling it? Yep. Okay, it's starting to settle down. Okay, we're at 7.7 .7 temperature. 190, we're 93 oxygen. 93 L. Give me 50 feet and that should be, I don't want to bottom out. Good. 50 feet, it's all set. Okay, settling down pretty quick. 6.9. Right around 86.0. All right, okay, that's, that's good deal. Up. We're all set, let's all go. set. Let's pull it up and we'll go in and do the... Uh... Do the chlorophyll test and we'll be done. Okay. Uh, the reason we're out here in the sunlight uh, is so we can capture the natural light so we get for filming purposes. But for this uh, actual use, it should be done indoors out of the sun. Okay, Ken, let's do it. Take the first one out of the cooler. I'll shake it up. And I'll first I'll do the cleansing cycle on the syringe. And then we'll just kind of... Okay, I'm going to get this tube ready. Shake it up. Let's work that out of here. All right. Now we'll just grab some water. Some of the air bubbles out of here. Get the filters ready. Okay, let me get it to 50 millimeters, uh, milliliters. All right, take that off. Now we got to get the filter out, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, there's. I got the blue one off, so we're okay on that. We got to okay. be separate. Now we just got to. Why do we have two blue ones? There we go. No, no, I don't need it. No, don't need that. Uh, right now we're just getting the filter and separating it from the other spacer, spacer there. Now we finally got that done and we just lay that right on top of the screen filter and we just kind of twist it back on and we've already have our 50 millimeters of milliliters of fluid and now what we're going to do is just have a steady stream going uh, down. This is drop by drop. This very lightly so we just get drops after drop until we no longer have it. 
and it usually takes about 35, 40 seconds in there. So if you get the end, we'll take off the filter container. Are you all set with your tweezers? And yeah, here. Okay. you have the safety pen, I got the tweezers. Okay. Safety pen. Let's do a little lift. You got it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to hold, hold it, it, hold it. Okay, got it. Load it up in the tube. All righty. Now. Okay, we need to do it one more time. One more time. All right. Our backup. Backup plan. These will immediately go in the freezer. You put them in a cooler right here if you want. Start okay. With. Okay. They're all set. And booked. Label up. Mm. All set. And this one will go into the freezer. All righty. They're all set. Thanks to Independence Township CPAC for filming this video, and thanks to all you volunteers for collecting the data. We'll have the data analyzed in a few months and have it available for you in our annual report, which is published in February. Thanks again.